Senator Devine. Uh, um, I just, um, I suppose, I want to echo the words of Senator uh, Conway Walsh, just to give our thanks to the Shannon staff, the entire Shannon staff here, for reminding us, especially the newbies that came in and probably wrecked your head. But we really appreciate your support, and uh, hopefully we'll come back energised, a bit more knowledgeable after the summer. Uh, I just wanted to raise two issues, basically about the action plan for housing. Uh, we welcome this report; it's an improvement in the previous offers, um, but I suppose it could. I feel it could clearly go a bit further. The cross-party committee had targeted 10,000 social houses per year to be built. The plan, this plan is calculated on early indications, um, about 6,000 per annum, which is 40% below what we set as the benchmark. Um, I attended yesterday the launch and the regeneration of Dub Dolphin House in Dublin South Central. This development is absolutely welcomed and the 25 million for phase one. The, fantastic environment. The community there have fought for over a decade for, uh, and had to take it to Europe to um, get this, I suppose, on, on track. And it needs to be delivered throughout Dublin. There are a lot of uh, social housing in really, really poor and dreadful conditions. Um, I also wanted to um, t say, talk about the Irish Credit Unions. I attended a briefing there yesterday as well. It's, they've offered uh, four billion available, and that can be directed to social housing from the credit union. But I understand the central bank rules prevent the credit union from investing in property-related schemes. I call on the minister to lobby and to do all in his power to relax the rules and amend the legislation to allow the release of two voluntary funds of four billion, which will go an awful long way in providing 20 to 25,000 housing units and welcome that throughout this country for the people that are in need. We need a commitment also as well in this to establish a dedicated court to deal with housing repossessions and an urgent amendment to the Code of Conduct on mortgage arrears and those struggling and threatened with repossession. One final issue was the rehab services. A dire shortage of rehabilitation services in the Irish healthcare system. 25,000 people in Ireland per year need rehabilitation for neurological additions, stroke, acquired brain injury. There's a decade of promises. I will bring this back to the House in September, but too much time has been wasted, too many lives have been affected, and we need those rehabilitation services under the auspices of we need our heads examined. Senator Richmond. Thank you very much.